Welcome bass people all around the world. Welcome to another gear check here on my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a preamp pedal from Malo. It's called the Tonewerk. Gerhard Malo, of course, you might or might not know it, is a bass builder from Germany. He's very successful all over the world. You might have seen him on the NAMM show, Musik Messe, London Bass Guitar Show. Uh, he had got various models of his instruments. I reviewed one of his concert basses lately. So again, he's very successful. And he asked the guy who builds most of his onboard electronics uh, to come up with an idea for a studio quality preamp pedal. And this is the Tonberg. So first I'm going to give you an overview of all the elements of the pedal itself and then I'm going to review it and you're going to hear some sound examples, okay? As usual on most of nowadays pedals we have the input on the right side and the output on the left side. Whereas the controls work the other way around. We start here with input level, input gain we have three LEDs, two green, one red, for controlling the input. We have a four band EQ, bass, mid one, mid two, treble. Bass and treble can cut or boost 15 dB. The mid controls can cut or boost 12 dB. Each band is switchable to three different frequencies. So uh, bass is switchable to 25, 40 or 75 hertz. Mid one switchable 300, 450 or 750 hertz. Mid two is switchable 850 hertz, 1.2 or 1.7 kilohertz. Treble is switchable 1, 8 or 16 kilohertz. Then we have output volume here and above that we have a three-way toggle switch which not only switches the DI but also the foot switch. So if it's in the upper position the DI is switched to pre-EQ and the foot switch is true bypass. Middle position still pre-EQ for the DI but EQ on and off for the foot switch. Lower position, post EQ for the DI, and still EQ on and off for the foot switch. Right here you can see a headphone out. Usually the Tonewerk comes with one headphone out. This actual model has two because Gerald uses it for trade shows and it's kind of a prototype. So this has two headphones out, it usually comes with one. We have the DI out of course. And we need an external power supply with 9 volts, which is a good thing not to have it internal. Uh, so you have all the noises from the, um, from the power supply external. So that's all the elements of the Malo Tonberg. Now let's go into the review. So for the review itself, I recorded some short licks into my looper using a Fender Jazz, so you might all be familiar uh, with the natural sound of the bass. Uh, here it is. So that's just the bass. The Tonewerk is not activated so far at all. I switched the Tonewerk, of course, uh, to the DI post setting because we need the EQ on the DI signal. Uh, the DI is directly connected to my Focusrite interface, uh, so nothing in between. I will now engage the Tonewerk and here we go. at 
at 25 hertz. Bass at 40. Mid one at three hundred. Four fifty. Mid two at point eight five. Travel at four. So next I've done a little slap thingy. First again, here's the natural sound. Again, I think you can shape your sound very, very practicable, very musically. And really the, the noise of the Marlowe Tonewerk is absolutely close to nothing. So it's really, really studio quality. Uh, you can use it in studio, you can use it wherever you play, of course, on stage, but also, of course, off stage for rehearsing you have the headphone out here and for of course recording situations uh, the last example i'm gonna
play in my uh, looper will be with an active bass. What I really like about the Tonwerk is how the low frequencies really fatten up your sound without making it boomy or uh, muddy or something. And the high frequencies really brighten up your tone and really bring some air and some freshness into the sound. And I really like that. Uh, so what happens with an active bass, of course, is you have to be very careful with the input level and with the EQ settings to not overdrive your um, amplifier or, in my case, uh, the interface. This is the Malo Tonwerk bass preamp pedal. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, please feel free to do so below. You'll find the link, of course, in the description. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for your like. See you next week. Bye.